We are going to make cityscapes today using the technique of gadget printing. This is step one because we're also going to learn how to blend with oil pastels. We're not going to do that part today, but today we're going to build a city using all different little things you might find in your house, like might be a circle. We're going to use pieces of cardboard for lines to dip in paint and then press on your paper to make whatever shape or line that you want to build your city. Let's get going. Hello, my talented artists. If you want this content to pop up on your feed, you should subscribe. The first thing we always do when we get our papers is write our names and our secret codes. Flip your papers over because we want our names to be on the back. We're going to cover the front of our paper. With art. So we would cover our name if it's on the front. We want our names to be on the back. And then we are ready to build our cities, our cityscapes. This is just a detail, which means it's just a part of Romare Bearden's collage cityscape entitled The Block. He made this in 1971. This cityscape by Vincent van Gogh is entitled View of Auvers with Church, and it was painted in 1890. This cityscape was created by Wu Guanzong. It's entitled Memory of Zhang Zhang in 2008. This is a more close-up cityscape by Frida Kahlo. She titled it Urban Landscape, and she created it in 1925. What do you think a cityscape is a picture of? That's right, cities and buildings. Can you remember what shapes the artists used to build their cityscapes? What shapes do you see? Good job looking carefully. I'm going to start with some straight lines to build. I'm not gonna build it at the bottom. I think I'm gonna build mine in the middle. You can decide where you want to build yours. So I dip my straight line and then press. Dip and press. I made a pentagon. Pentagons have five sides. I want a shorter line so I could use this side and turn it. Dip and press. Dip and press. Dip and press. I am going to put that back for someone else. Remember we're sharing and I'm going to use this little circle. Dip in the paint and press. I even twisted a little. Now I'm going to use this rectangular piece of cardboard. It has a really short side. And I am going to dip and press. Can you guess what I'm making now? Go ahead and call it out. That's right, I made a door using rectangles. I'm making lots of rectangles by dipping and pressing. I can make a line that's long by pressing this short one three times, or I could use this side. Let's try that. I'm gonna make a building that is a triangle. That's a modern building. 
Now, do I want to add any other details? Do I want to add any doors? Here's a funny shape. Do I want that shape? Maybe I don't want to use that one, but you might want. Here's a nice arch. I'm going to use a little tiny piece of cardboard to make some windows. You see lots of squares and rectangles in a city. You also see other shapes. Maybe I'll make a zigzag line on that building. I'm just gonna make some lines that will be the windows on this building. Now I'm going to add some doors. It's really important to add details to your cityscape. It draws the viewer in. I think I'm going to make some steps going up. Another triangle roof. I think I'm done. Oops. That doesn't go there. My gadgets, what I'm printing with my cardboard and my shapes go in this and my paint is there. So now it's time to carefully slide my picture into the drying rack. Make sure that your artwork does not go on top of anybody else's artwork. All right, artists, it's time to make your cities.